Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have some exciting prophetic news to share with you today. This first one, this is amazing. Now, it's from a channel that Kathy just found from Grafted in Team Jesus, I think two days ago now. Her name is Vicki Adkins. Are any of you following her? I had never heard of her. And she had listened to a current bit, um, message and thought it was wonderful, like a re real recent one from a couple days ago. But she wanted to listen to some older ones to see, you know, her background because she didn't know her. Well, she pulled up one just by happenstance. You know how the Lord works? And this one's called, A Storm is Coming, Vid. I guess that's for video. But anyway, the date is April 14, 2019. Now here's the really weird part. Dan was hearing from the Lord yesterday. And what she is saying in this video was exactly what he was getting in the spirit yesterday. So I have to share this with you. Now, I'm not going to play it because it's 20 minutes and so. But you need to go listen to it because this is what Dan got. So that's confirmation. All right. Two witnesses or two or three uh, where there are two or three witnesses. <clears throat> I can't remember how it goes. But anyway, that's two witnesses. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give that a thumbs up. Now, this next one I have to read. <clears throat> Make sure I got enough water. Yes, I do. I might even have more. I have a little coffee. Mm, love my coffee. Just one cup, though. One in the day morning, one in the afternoon. That's it. All right. This one was found on uh, 444 Prophecy News. And it's called The Gathering. Heaven's shofar. He says, this has to be the Lord saying this. It's probably an excerpt out of the message. I cannot wait to see your expressions as you raise the dead, expel demonic entities, and heal the sick and lame. I knew we were going to do that. I know we'll be doing a lot more. But he says, your hands will be my hands. So exciting. Anyway, it's titled, The Gathering. And it was put up February 17th, 2021 by Heaven's Shofar. Word received by Heaven's Shofar on 2-17-21 at 3.46 a.m. Strong's 3.46 equals gather together as one. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? And it goes on, 3.46, yes, daughter, 3.46, right. I will be gathering all my children together as one very soon. And in parentheses, there's an Ephesians 1.10. A time of great and mighty miracles is coming as I prepare to unleash my, quote, hidden ones, unquote, to wreak havoc on the kingdom of darkness. The holy anointing you have been waiting for is coming but you must prepare your vessels or bodies to receive my glory. Live cleanly. Confess your sins to me daily. Confess your sins to me daily. Fast. Pray. For the time is short and I need clean, empty vessels to fill. Now, he's not specific on the fasting, so you take that up to him. 
and do as you feel the Lord is leading you. Now is not the time to stray, my children. Keep on the straight and narrow path that leads to me and my Father, who is also waiting to shower you with his hidden gifts. Each of you will have different assignments in this great harvest of souls and will be equipped to handle everything you have been called by me to do for, quote, no great gift shall I withhold from those who love and serve me, unquote, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Parentheses, Psalm 84, 11, Matthew 7, 11, close parentheses. I suggest you look those up. They may be at the bottom of this, but anyway, I don't know if he gave those to her or she found them later. It's not made clear. Oh, my children, the gifts that await you, exclamation, exclamation mark. You have no idea, two exclamation marks. Your human minds cannot comprehend the wonders that will take place as you share my love and story with my lost sheep. They will come out of the woodwork from all directions, north, south, east, and west. You will not be able to keep track of the multitude that shall come into my glorious kingdom. I cannot wait to see your expressions. Uh-uh. No, sir. You leave that alone. Sorry, I have to correct my dog. You, I told you yesterday that's a no-no. Now you play with your toys and chew on them. Chew on your little hedgehog. Get happy. Just like a baby. Okay, now where was I? Sorry, Lord, for the interruption from my toddler. Um, I'll start the paragraph over. I cannot wait to see your expressions as you raise the dead, expel demonic entities, and heal the sick and lame. Much destruction is coming soon, and I'm counting on my beautiful bride to be my hands and feet. Your hands will be my hands. Now, does that sound, I just, I got to pause. There are people who actually believe that the bride is one person. Now, do you think that there are one person's going to go all around the world healing the sick. I mean, well, why would you do that to your bride if that was true? You wouldn't. All right. That expels that lie from whatever demon gave that to that person. Okay. Your hands will be my hands and your feet will walk wherever I tell them to go. I don't know why they parenthesized I. It's obvious it's Jesus talking. For blessed and beautiful are the feet that bring good news. That could have been uh, the 444 Prophecy News site typing it up that way. Romans 10.15 and Isaiah 52.7. Daughter, I love you so much. Tell my remnant that I am coming. Hey, you want to go in your kennel with the door shut? Do you? Stop it. Go over here and play on your rug. Go over here and play. I'm sorry about that. Tell my remnant that I am coming soon, and all must be ready and watching for me. 
for I will part the sky and you will all rise to meet your bridegroom who anxiously awaits your arrival. Everything is ready. It won't be long now, daughter. It won't be long now, daughter. Prepare, I say, prepare, for very, very soon we will be face to face, and this wait will finally be over for those longing to be in my presence. I love you, my bride, with an undying, everlasting love. Jesus slash Yeshua. I don't know if he put it that way or she did, but at any rate, um, Ephesians 1.10, KJV, these are the references. Oh, and they're spelled out. Okay, it could be he's trying to get my attention because he needs to go out. I'm going to leave the link, and I would suggest you go here and look at these scriptures. I could try to put them in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to end it here and say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And let us continue to pray for anybody who is still experiencing power outages, especially those down in Texas. They're doing this on purpose because they have their own power grid figure that one out. All right. I'll end it there. Talk to you later.